the Chinese continue to bring excitement by the day. What's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be unboxing and getting the hands-on of the new Yumi Hammer S that I got from the website geekbind.com for only $139. The phone has too many great specifications to be ignored, but I have to say that if you guys like the Yumi Hammer, you're going to love this model. It's absolutely different in every single way, I would say, in my opinion. But here, let's go ahead and get started with the box. On the front, we have the Yumi logo. We can see that this time we have a metallic type of box, even though, of course, it's not made of metal. On the side, it's plain. On this side, it's also plain. Then on the bottom, we have a barcode for inventory purposes. On this side, we have the Yumi logo. And on the back, we had the specifications, but now it's very hard to read because they decided to bring this font that kind of blends in with the box. So it's very, very difficult to read them. But of course, I'll be recapping this as we continue along with the unboxing. We have here a barcode from the factory Yumi Hammer. And also we have a QR code in case you guys want to download their application and whatnot. We have the IMEI information and that's pretty much it. Looking at the box from this angle, you had to slide this black box from the side likewise and then here we're going to see a book style of box. Uh, this is very similar to Xiaomi devices so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they're copying their style but it looks very neat. Uh, now here we're going to see something very different for the first time after the OnePlus 2 we're going to see the USB Type-C on a Chinese device. This is very cool because that means that we can connect it either way. Uh, this time you don't have to be checking which side is which and this is actually something that I was looking for forward to on Chinese devices and again guys this phone is only 139 and this is nothing it comes with a lot more um, I would say features to it that you guys are going to love the next item we're going to find inside of the box is the wall charger now this one is the European unfortunately guys but I do have adapter the cool part is that they made it a little bit shorter so that's going to make it a lot easier to connect it to the wall it's not going to be sticking out as much um, also it is a 5 volt 1M charger as you guys can tell right there and yes it is made by the company Yumi this is very neat uh, there we can see the connector and again it seems to be a very nice quality and actually it is quite heavy compared to other Chinese chargers then finally we got here the device itself and this is the amazing Yumi Hammer S guys I've been waiting for this device now for over a month I got it about three days ago and uh, this is the first time that I open it for you guys in front of you guys so that way you can see that I do true unboxings and not pre unboxings or unboxings after I have checked the product um, I do get a lot more excited when I do it with you guys so here we can see the device itself so let me go ahead and check out the manuals what appears to be here and there we can see the model it says Hammer S made by Yumi so it's just like a quick start guide giving us an overview of the device you guys can feel free to read it if you wish to do so. There we can see that we have an iron blaster. That's another great feature about this device. It comes with a metallic frame. On the reverse side, we're going to find a QR code. Then here we're going to find the specifications of this product, which is the beauty of it. I think it's absolutely amazing, especially the battery, the iron blaster. It comes with the Android Lollipop 5.1. It is a 4G LD device and it does have a Sony sensor in the back. It's a 30 megapixel sensor. It's the IMX179. On the front, it says here a two megapixel sensor, but the website is claiming to be 3.2. We have to test that on the review video. It comes with GPS, AGPS, and EPO. Um, that's with EPO, which is an assistant, which connects to your data uh, of your service and whatnot. It comes with the Bluetooth 4.0, and it comes with a 5.5 inch display. It is a 5-point multi-touch screen and it has the 2.5 DR screen. So here we see the accessories. We only get the charger and the USB cable, which is very, very neat. So now that we know what comes inside of the box and some of the specifications of this product, let me go ahead and set this aside so that we can talk more about the phone itself. And now getting our hands on the Yumi Hammer S on the front, we're going to have the 5.5 inch display. It is a 5 point multi touch screen and it has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. And yes, it is IPS, OGS, and also by the edges, the glass is going to bend a little bit. That's because we have the 2.5 DR screen, which is very convenient. On the top, you can see there we have what appears to be the 2 megapixel sensor camera, but again, the website is claiming it to be 3.2. We have to confirm that on the review video. Also, we got there the proximity and light sensor, the ear speaker, and finally the notification LED light on the left side of the ear speaker. On the bottom, we got the menu key, the home key, and also the back key. This is very common on Android devices. On the left hand side, we got here just the metal frame. On the top, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack together with the IR blaster. And yes, guys, this is a working IR blaster, and this is one of the upgrades on the Yumi Hammer S. 
on the right side of the phone we got here the volume rockers up and down we also see the power key on the bottom we got there just the uh, loudspeaker we had the microphone and also the new usb type c connector on there which is very very exciting on the back we see there the sony imx sensor is the 179 it's a 13 megapixel also we see there the dual led flash we had the fingerprint scanner this is also another upgrade from the previous generation we got the yumi logo then on the bottom there says hammer s designed by yumi in china and I'm going to give you guys briefly here a 360 view around the device so that way you can tell me in your personal opinion what you think about this amazing phone. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's definitely worth the 139 that they're asking for. Keep in mind that yes, this phone is a 4G LTE device, but the bands are not supported here in the USA. So at the most, you're going to get H+, which is uh, almost 4G or just 3G plane. So let me go ahead and open the back cover and let's take a look inside. I believe that we're going to find that 3,200 pound million battery and judging by the size it seems like it's a realistic and also the weight is very very heavy then written here on the back we can see that the yes it is claiming to be a 3200 power million battery 3.8 volts and again guys judging by the weight it seems like it's actually real let me go ahead and remove this tape out of the terminal so uh, the chinese usually do this so that the battery doesn't come and drain and sometimes customs uh, doesn't want batteries to be chipped I really don't understand why because most smartphones out there do have a battery uh, so there we have it we have uncovered the terminals let me go ahead and show you guys here inside of the device right there we can see already the IMEI information we can see the build of the device now where the battery goes it seems to be a little bit I would say cheap looking it doesn't look that premium but on the edges the metal frame feels very nice and comfortable we can see there that we have the GPS the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna on this side, I think it's the uh, 3G antenna. Then on the bottom, you have, I believe, this could be the GSM antennas or the 4G LTE antennas. That's very, very neat, guys. I'm already liking this device quite a bunch. So let me go ahead and install the battery so that way we can power it on and see what the operating system is all about. Now before we power on the Yumi Hammer S, let me go ahead and remove this screen protector that came installed with it. It's absolutely terrible. It has a lot of scratches on it so that way you guys can really appreciate how nice the display looks. And this is exactly what we got here. If you ask me, I think that the metal frame looks very similar to the new Note 5. It's actually the same concept. On the back we have this little curve and we can see how here uh, between the top and the side it kind of curves out a little bit. So I'm not sure if maybe they try to copy the metal frame on the No 5 if it was intended or maybe by accident. I'm not really sure. So there we have it guys. Another 360 view about the device. I am really liking that USB Type-C on the bottom. But anyways, let me go ahead and power it on. Uh, here we're going to find the Yumi logo. And yes, it comes packed with the Android 5.1. Like I said before, it has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. So on the boot animation, it's nothing too special. Uh, there we can see the Android logo once more. So let's wait until this thing boots up. And I believe it comes with a clean version of the Android 5.1, which is something that a lot of you guys prefer. So here we have the lock screen. We got the time, we also got the date. On the top, we got all the toggles supported. And yes, it is the Android 5.1, as you guys saw, because we can access the Wi-Fi directly from here, which is definitely great. And then here we're going to have the operating system. You can see there that it comes already with the Play Store. Uh, we got the camera app. Let me go ahead and open it up. This is the 13 megapixel sensor camera. And uh, let me go ahead and shoot a picture here to the hammer. I believe the flash was on currently. So this is the Sony sensor. And I know you guys can't see this maybe through the camera, but the focus appears to be amazing so far. Look at all those details. And this picture was just taken there very, very quickly. And it looks so nice. Look at the box of the Galaxy. I really can tell when a camera is going to be pretty good. Considering the price of this phone, it looks really, really amazing. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the focus here at Ma Yin J. You guys can't deny the fact that the camera looks pretty good. I would say that the colors look pretty realistic so far, but we have to view this on the computer and compare it to other devices like I usually do. So again, guys, on the bottom, we got there the mini key, the home key, and the back key. They don't light up, unfortunately. That's a feature that we're not going to see. Uh, here we have the remote app, and I think that, yes, it's going to be the standard Chinese remote app. This is definitely something that a lot of you guys look forward to. And even myself, guys, I think that all the um, features that we have on here are very, I would say, useful. We got the IR Blaster, the fingerprint scanner. Uh, we have a better display, the USB Type-C. So everything is very useful on this phone. 
And now let's go ahead and jump here into settings and see everything that we got on here. On the top, you're going to find there just the Wi-Fi tab. You had the Bluetooth, the hot knot. This is definitely great. I didn't know that it came with hot knot. This is the Chinese type of NFC. You got the SIM card options like always. You have the display, notifications, and then we find here storage. On storage, we're going to see that it comes everything in one partition. This is something that you guys truly love. And I believe that you can upgrade the memory up to 64 gigabytes. Um, also, it is a dual SIM, dual standby device, as you guys saw before. Uh, also, we got here the sound notification. We got the battery, the apps. Let's go ahead and check the uh, RAM available right now. I think it's on running. There we go. And the RAM right now, we have about 1.6 gigabytes. And that's because we don't have a lot of uh, apps running on the background right now, as we know. We do have the smart wake option. Let me see how this is going to be. And yes, it is the standard one that we have seen many times before, but you draw a little C and it's going to open the camera. Let me give you guys a quick demonstration that way there are no confusions later on, because this is the official hands-on until I complete the review part. So here we have it on the last screen. Let me go ahead and draw the letter C and there we can see that yes, it's working and it took me directly into the camera. That's very, very neat. And now the next option we have here is fingerprint. Let's go ahead and test it out and see how well it's working. It's asking me to enter a passcode from the get-go. And here we have it, guys. I can add my finger. Let me go ahead and do so. So all we have to do is just place the finger on the back. Now, the only bad news about having this on the back is that we can usually just record uh, the index finger and nothing else. I mean, you could record something else, but it's going to be kind of awkward to use it. So let me go ahead and start the process here. There we go. We can see that obviously the UI was copied from iOS. I really don't have to tell you guys that. So right now I'm changing. There we go. Let me go ahead and select here, continue. And let me just change. Okay, it added my first fingerprint. So let me go ahead and enable it here on the top. Let me put it on sleep. Wake it up again, there we see the lock screen. Let me place my index finger on the back. And there we go guys, it's working perfectly well. Let me try that one more time. Let me see here. There we go, I had to try it several times before I got it to work. Let me try that one more time. And there we go, it's working again. Let me try the one that I didn't record and see if it's working. And no, it's not working. So yes, this is a rear fingerprint scanner. This is super, super awesome, guys. And the fingerprint scan is working as intended. Let's go here to the app tray, and these are all the applications that we're going to find. I don't see a lot of the Google applications, so I'm just going to go ahead and install them directly from the Play Store. Um, other than that, it seems like a very nice and cool device so far. I think it's definitely worth every single penny, even though I haven't completed the review video yet. But based on what I'm seeing, it looks like it's definitely worth it. And here we can see that, yes, it is the Android 5.1. So with that being said guys, I think I have completed the hands-on of the Yumi Hammer S and like always, if you guys do have any questions, you know what to do, leave your comment below. Also the link has been provided below in case you guys want to check it out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one.